evening. Day 28, January 28th. Hey, I remember to do the day again. I forgot yesterday. Man, I was really tired yesterday. I must be getting sick. I've been exhausted all day. I did, I did more deep cleaning on the bathroom and the living room. And my own cat is diabetic. And he's very messy. He always has an upset stomach. Poor thing. Um, so it's tough for him to keep food down. He throws up a lot. Um, I spent most of the day, aside from cleaning, um, reading about the new executive order that just came out. Uh, it's kind of scary. There are a lot of implications of racial profiling that could be inferred about that. On the one hand, it's basically saying to all of the countries that we interact with, hey, do you like us enough to give us your number? I just got a new phone, and do you like us to get... Do you like me enough to give me your number again so I can have it in my new phone? You've got 90 days to tell me if you want me to have your number or not. And then we can still be friends. And then data from your phone can come to my phone and likewise. Where the data in this case is people. Mm. To oversimplify it, that's basically what it's about. It's a factory reset on uh, not so much immigration status, but visa sharing and visiting of other countries. Mostly in the case of foreign nationals visiting the United States. I, I'm only like halfway through it, but it's taken me a long time to um, go through all the language that they're using and cross-reference the various other documents that are cited in it. talking to my, oh, it's my best friend's birthday today, but she worked today, so I couldn't go see her. We're planning on doing something. Just don't know when, because she's a nurse. Bless their hearts, nurses. They work all the time. So much is asked of them, and they get so little thanks in return. We were talking, and in the midst of that, I may have come up with a viable solution for moving. See, living here is so draining on my mental health. But at the same time, I love my cats, and I can't take them with me. But because, because they're cats and I don't know if they'll remember me when I'm gone. And that's the last thing I want. At least with humans, you can communicate with them. And you can understand that they know that there is a past, a present, and a future. Like, 
it's only been four years, and I don't know if they still remember Autumn. She was our fifth cat. She's dead when she was only ten. I don't know if they still remember her. I remember her every day. Pretty much every day. And if I were gone, I, I've left before and come back, and I've left for quite a few months and come back, and yeah, they seem to recognize me, but I don't know if they miss me when I'm gone. And that's something that I know humans can do. I don't know if cats can do that. I'm rambling. But one of them, the sister of the cat who died, uh, she's kind of antisocial and doesn't get along with the other cats. So perhaps, perhaps she'll do better in a better house. And that's always something that I've considered if she'd be happier somewhere else. But as with the concept of time and impermanence, and object permanence, I mean, um, I don't know. I don't know if that's true or not. I don't know if she would be happier elsewhere. been afraid to try, you know? What if she is? But this time, I would be there with her and I'd be able to monitor her and see her change and see if it is better for her. I really hope it will be. <laughs> be better for both of us. That's about it for now. Um, did I ever get to the end of that point where I take my outcast cat with me so I can not miss them fully? So I won't be away from all of them and I may actually be giving them one of them a chance to happiness. And that's important. To be happy. Be content. Well, that's all for now, I guess. Until next time.